Reading a Clock, Part 2 Today we will learn to read the clock in the form of hours and minutes. So we have done the homework you gave us. Which homework? So you taught us to read the hour and minute hands yesterday and told us to make hour and minute hand on the clocks for all the time mentioned in the picnic timetable. So sir, I have made the hour hand according to the time given and Neha has made the minute hand. Oh yes, show me. Let's see what's the first time. The first time is 7 hours 15 minutes in the morning. Vandana, you have shown the hour hand at 7. And Neha, you have shown the minute hand at 3. These are absolutely correct. So look at the rest as well. Yes, I'll see all of them. Yes, all of them are correct. You have learned to read the hour and minute hand separately. And now you can read the clock. What does that mean, sir? That means you can look at the clock and tell the time. Okay. Look at this clock. A clock has two hands. A small hand is an hour hand. The big one is the minute hand. Can you tell by looking at the clock that what time it is? Let's try, sir. Hmm. The hour hand is on one in this. It means it's one o'clock. And sir, the minute hand is on too. It means it's 10 minutes. You both have said it right. Now we will tell the time by putting together the hour hand and the minute hand. That means it is 10 minutes past 1. So, is it really that easy? Yes. See, I will now turn these hands. Now you tell me what time it is. Sir, I do not understand now. Because the hour hand is not at 3, it has moved ahead of 3. Yes, Vandana. If the hour hand was at 3, the time would have been 3. But because it is ahead of 3, it means that it is more than 3 o'clock and it is behind 4, which means that it is not 4 o'clock as yet. Well, sir, now it is understood that if the hour hand moves ahead of any number, then how we need to read it. But, sir, it is understood from this clock that at this time it is more than 3 and less than 4. But how much more than 3 is the question now? To tell how many minutes are more than an hour, the minute hand is red. Neha. You read the minute hand. So it is 30 minutes. It means that it is already 3 o'clock and it is 30 minutes more than 3 o'clock. If we read the time from this clock, we will say that it has been 30 minutes past 3. Now we understand a little, sir. As you practice reading time, you will know how to read a clock fully. Let's read once again. Tell me, what is the time now? Sir, the hour hand is ahead of 8, which means it has been a few minutes past 8. Not few, but it's 45 minutes. That is, the complete time is 45 minutes past 8. Very good. Now you have answered correctly. Tell one more time. This one. So the time is a little more than 12. So, minute hand is ahead of 2 and has not reached 3. How will you read minutes in it? Look, Neha, are you seeing these small marks in between the numbers of this clock? Yes, sir. Every mark tells a minute. For example, if the minute hand is on 2, we know that it has been 10 minutes. But if it comes to the next mark from 10, we will say it is 11 minutes. 12 minutes will be read on the next. Beyond that, 13 and 14. When it comes to 3, it will be read as 15 minutes. Got it, sir. According to this, it is 12 minutes now. So now, read the clock and tell the time. Yes, sir. As per this clock, now it's 12 o'clock and 
ट्वेल्व मिनट वाओ नेहा एंड वंदना Now you have learned to look at the clock very well. Tell me once, what have you learned today? So we learned that the small hand in the clock is the hour hand, and the big hand is the minute hand. If the hour hand moves ahead of any number, then we will say that the time is more than that number. And to see the time which is more than that number, we have to look at the minute hand. The small marks in the clock shows one minute. Very good. Now you can look at the clock and tell the time. Thank you, sir. Our class is about to start. We will go now.